We're all in this together in terms of I'm really not upset that you're enforcing the law. I'm upset the way you're enforcing this law. I'm sorry that you don't like that we're enforcing it. Okay, here's what's going to happen. The next time someone in your department sits across the table from me at the city council meeting and says, we're short on police officers and that's why crime is what it is, I will recount this entire incident to the left. Because it's ridiculous, man. Does that not make sense to you? While we've got people who have crimes committed against them, things stolen, they feel like there's no response and no concern from law enforcement. And then those same people who have that feeling, this type of thing happens, and they go. I want to jump in real quick. I'm an able agent, right? And I'll let you think. So we're right here. I will tell you that we have done a deal. Some folks, we do know that alcohol and crime are very close to related. So the more the people see us in the bars, the less they overconsume, and the more crime that we deal with later on. There's a direct correlation between alcohol and crime. So the more we're out here in the bars, the more we're seeing. We know for a fact that it's been tasted nationwide. We're going to reduce the calls for service later on in the night by being seen more in the bars earlier during the day. And you can argue that although I can show you proof that that is very true. The more work is done in the bars, the more our presence is done in the bars, the less time we have later on that we respond to as officers. This directly affects how much time we respond to later on. And I'll bring you the paperwork if you want to see it. And I don't really want to get involved in this, I just want to tell you, it's directly related. If you guys camped out in the max all night long, it would be a solid gold fact that nobody would consume anything. That's what we're talking it's about. about balance. I'm you, it is balanced. So we it's imbalanced to bring five police cars into a neighborhood and rush everybody into a bar. It That's would be imbalanced for us to do this every night. It sure as hell would. But to do it periodically, to make our statement, to be I've got no issue season. with it, man. So, so when was the last time that the enforcement was done down here? In the I have no idea. I don't either because I've been working down here since August, and I know other than one other bar downtown, there has not been enforcement because in the evenings, I'm the one in charge of the officers that work in here. There has been no enforcement down here that I'm aware of. At least. So I was aware that there was not enforcement down here. We've got officers down here tons of times that I can think of. And that's fine. There's been no enforcement for false police down here that I'm aware of. So we decided that we're going to come out here. We're going to check the bars. Let's get ready to check over consumption. We're going to check underage consumption. We're going to check licensing. All those kind of things. Make sure everybody's in compliance with what they're supposed to do. If there's no violations, we leave. If there's violations, we cite for them. They believe the cite for them, whatever it is. And then we leave. We're not shutting anybody down. We're not keeping people from entering the, the establishment. People are still drinking at every bar that we've been in. They've been sitting there talking to us while we're in there. Nobody's, nobody has left. Nobody's going in or you know, Anything. There's no sense in making I get you think you did the right thing. I completely disagree okay. with the way that you handled this. It's not my job, not your boss, and I'm not pretending to be. I, I'm just begging, I guess, for a different approach to law enforcement down here. The last thing downtown needs is a reputation as being a place where this kind of stuff happens. I do one question. Is the less people more often now, or when we do get a chance to come down here to bring everybody to the It feels like you get bull rushed when you, you walk into a place and there's a ten uniforms. But don't you think it'd be worse if you saw a few of us all the time? Dude, the last thing I want is somebody over drinking at a place and hurt themselves with somebody else. Right. I'm not that guy, I'm not that bar owner. I mean, I I'm not the guy that doesn't want you guys yeah. down here. I want my people in compliance and I want to be doing the right thing. I guarantee you, if we knew that we were supposed to have a city sticker on that thing, I'm the last person trying to break a city of Tulsa. Okay. So, if I would have known about it, we would have never, we would have never had the issue. And I'm you, okay, I'm you, okay, you, I understand you, the law. Are you part of the owner of this bar? No. But this bar owner is calling me, going, "What's happening to me right now?" But they don't have video games. We're not here. We're not outside the video owns games. Owns this bar owns the Dust Bowl, right. which was concerned about right. right. Which we saw, which we already cited them because they had several machines that were not that didn't have because licenses didn't on know it. That but in this establishment, which he owns as well, they do have licenses on it. So he did know because this establishment has them. He owns both of them. That one didn't. Right. Okay. We have 13 places between us okay. and 500 employees between us. So different people are responsible for different things. When Tiffany went oh, to get Blake. licenses at the, at hey. the max. Hey, City Council Blake. <laughs> hey, I owe you some money for some <laughs> vending licenses that I didn't know I needed to have. Good here. Uh, We're good here. Good here. Awesome. I'm just, I'm just asking for a, a little less... Just this is a lot of force to roll into a dining room with at 8 o'clock. If I don't make any other point, that's the one. That what it looks like to us and to our guests, and I get it that you guys are officers and you're around, the, the, the police uniform doesn't seem 
stress no, inducing I, I understand what you're saying. No, I understand when, that part. When our guests see 10 people walk into a place, it's a, it makes people freak out like something crazy. But if you reduce crime to Tulsa by being seen in the bars more often, we're doing the city a goal for justice. I'm not saying you shouldn't come in. I'm not saying you shouldn't enforce the law. Okay. They shouldn't do it regularly. I, I don't have any. I get it. If we were out of compliance and we weren't, we weren't following the law, I deserve well, we to don't, take it. That, that I appreciate the grace that was given. Over there, knowing that we've got so many games, so I'm not trying to be an. Ass I'm just, I really am. I mean, we're all stressed out right now. We're all frustrated. But I'm most frustrated. I think at what happened to Joe Mamas after he zinged us at the max. We knew about it. We're already there. We took care of what we thought we needed to take care of Joe Mamas. And then I know you guys get to exercise that judgment. You get to say. This guy knows. He's already got ten tickets in his hand. So, so we should cite one establishment and not cite the other establishment. So we 